is. You could argue he is the best pound for pound male fighter in the world today, the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky, and he continues to add layers and wrinkles to his game. Absolutely incredible, all he has accomplished thus far. He's a tremendous fighter, and John, you look at his style and you think to yourself, this would translate weight classes, pound for pound. That's the definition. He is pound for pound. And that was on full display when he just dismantled the great Max Holloway. But tonight in front of him, he has a very different challenge. It's not a guy he's seen before. He's got a formula to plan inside the octagon. If anybody can do that, it's Alexander Volkanovsky. And one thing that has been key to his success, he's just never been flat on fight night. Never. Always seems to have his best. We'll see if he has it all going here tonight. Because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Steps inside the octagon, he's ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, it has been amazing to watch Alexander Volkanovsky's progression, even when you look back to past title defenses against the likes of the Korean Zombie, almost smiling as if to say, man, I thought you were good, I didn't know you were that good. And in theory, Volkanovsky ready to present an even better version here tonight. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again. 
He's got the feet on the hips now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it just allows you to build a, a, a push. You just push right. with your feet. You elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just get a jiu-jitsu escape. Push your hands back, hip heights up, back to your feet. Now we're back to fight. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Oh, right into Mo. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, he escapes. He got it. Oh, wow, that is great submission defense. Strikes nicely here from top position. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this one. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. You saw that in fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC That was Total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. So the bulk man, Alexander Volkanovsky. You gotta start going down. Throws the left hand. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Beautiful kick. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. You gotta be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. The fight is not, though, despite the two knockdowns there in that round. Incredible toughness on one side, incredible power on the other. Incredible power by this fighter, but also a very good patience and a very good approach to finding those skill shots. He has not been able to get his opponent out of there just yet. But frustration cannot set in because when you're fighting someone this good, this tough, it only takes them one opportunity to finish you. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this one. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will hit the sleep. Strong kick to the outside of that big leg for him there. You do not want to hit too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. But he's still out of managing to land it. 
so much more. Nice shot. Slip that one. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, John. I mean, one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. Oh, big I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area. Oh, he's in trouble. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Try to find that finish. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. It's very tight. And now he's just gonna start passing it on the cross, pulling down the floor. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Lee's eye looks so swollen now, you've gotta let me speculate as to oh. oh, that's it! Alexander, the great. Oh, Lee. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And new UFC lightweight champion of.